I just found it would be easier to access. What um, some of the adult students especially found was that they couldn't access Moodle from home. They were having real difficulties. And because you can get an app for Edmodo, they can have it on the phone, so it's always there. Um, and, it, and it's web-based. They can log in from anywhere. Um, so it, it was ease of access. And also the layout. Um, most students have got Facebook accounts, so they can, they can use it. College-wide, we, we use Moodle, so that's the only one we'd ever used. And I, and I just heard about this at a, a training conference with Natekla um, that I went to and thought it looked really good. So I trialled it last year with a couple of groups um, and had really good feedback. They enjoyed using it. Um, so this year it's been promoted within the English and Maths team. So we, we've all got it set up with our groups. It's made my life easy because, say, if um, a student misses a session, all the resources are posted um, every every week, so they can access them, they can ask questions, um, and I just think it, it makes it easier for students to stay in touch, to ask questions that sometimes they might not want to ask in class in front of everybody else. Um, so I, I just think it's a fantastic communication tool. The way I use Softive is we have, through the course of the end, students have sections to go through, for example, health and safety, working, building, construction, um, and the classroom so they'll obviously be back in. So after each section, I use it as assessment. So I say, for, the, for their exams, they have to get between, well, over 61% to pass their exam. So I say anything over 61%, they pass that unit internally, and they have to get external exams. Uh, I use it for assessments, I mock exams on it, and I use it for before lessons, some formative summary, summative assessments. Revision is just, just a good tool, good stickability. I just found it easy to use. I just thought the students would be able to use it easily. And they can access it at home on the phone. I, I run things at weekends, so they can use my room. So I've set them the room up as well, but I should not know what I have. Um, I've sent them work on it. And it's just, it, like I said, it just helps them. It just helps, you wouldn't believe how much it helps the students. I feel like it just gives you, you know, a proper layout of how the exam's going to be. So it just feels a lot more, you know, I know what to expect when I go into exam. You know, I feel a lot more confident. You know what I mean? So when I go into exam, I just think, uh, I just think, uh, you know, it treated exactly the same as a, you know, a soccer team. Um, it's helped me massively because it's helped me through a lot of my exams. Uh, it helps you revise more. There's more. It explains it to you in a way because, like. If you click a wrong answer, it comes up, tells you the right answer, and then in that way you can like look it up in a book and like because we've got level three books, level two books, level one books, so it like when it comes up with that answer, we can look for it and read about it more. So then when um, we come to do it again, we'll understand the question more and the answer more, and it helps you a lot because you can do it with not only just yourself, you can. Um, you can get your friends to join in on it, whoever's doing the course with you or the exam. They can join in and they can help you more as well. So I use Twitter for a number of reasons, uh, for a number of things with the students. I might, for example, tweet or retweet things that I'm following that are particularly in interest for our teaching assistants. So, for example, uh, I'm following Rotherham Advertiser, which is a local paper, and there's free tickets for X Factor. So I've retweeted that. I thought, oh, they'd be interested in that. Just to keep their interest in Twitter as well. I might also retweet any jobs that come up that I see on RMBC, which is the council website, for teaching assistants or anything else that's interesting. One thing I like about Twitter, I use Edmodo as well, and I use other platforms, but I like to spread everything on different platforms. So, for example, um, I've put a video on, a YouTube video onto uh, Twitter, and that's also stored on different platforms. So people who know what I'm using can go to any, the, they can access at the time. So, for example, if they can't log on to Edmodo, they can go straight onto Twitter and find the video I was talking about to, to watch at their own leisure.